So this is a range of our products, and uh, they are shortly they will be available in America. And the people who can use them here, they're lucky because for us it's very difficult to obtain these products. So uh, we treat them like gold if we can get our hands on it. So Teotihuacan Ultimate is their most robust product. So if you want a long-term restoration, and in my experience, some patients that they last all the way up to three years after you do the restoration. So in one way. Uh, it's great to have that kind of long-lasting long uh, restoration, and particularly there's a tremendous loss of volume. <laughs> and I'm just going to show you some examples of uh, even in young patients. Uh, you know, one of my uh, great fortune is that where I am, and because of my rhinoplasty practice, I'm very young patients. So we use these products not only for restoration but for enhancement also. So a lot of these patients you will see, particularly as I see even in my uh, uh, practice, I go, what do you need? And we talk about little enhancements. So here's just a little uh, Canada technique using Teotihuacan Ultimate to uh, highlight our cheeks. So this will be a good example to differentiate between what's highlighting and um, what is restoration. Restoration in older patients for uh, replacing the lost volume and here we are using these great hyaluronic acid products to uh, enhance, to create something which wasn't there. You're just sort of you know, taking a beautiful painting and just restoring it and enhancing it. So this shows you that the right side was injected. You can see the difference between, so as, as the slide shows, the right side is done and the left side is still flat right there. And, and both sides are done. And Ultimate comes in a 3cc syringe, which makes it really good that you can use one and a half, one and a half. And again, the longevity is all the way up to three years. This is the upper vector I talk about. And this is one of my favorite, favorite uh, vector to restore. And the lower vector, she's very strong. <coughs> so this is the difference between the enhanced upper vector and the flat vector right there. More and more cannulas are being talked about and um, once I determine that I'm going to layer the product, I like cannulas way better than the needle because if you start layering with the needle, you're making multiple punctures and every time the sharp needle goes through the tissue, you have a risk of puncturing something and uh, getting the bruising in a small hematoma maybe. So cannula more and more has become the workhorse. <clears throat> Again, just to identifies the differences between the needle and the cannula. Cannula again, you know, and one of the newer things that I'm doing is that all the products we are using now that has lidocaine in it, so let's use the lidocaine to inject the superficial layer and lock all the sensory sensation so you can make the patient comfortable. So go to the length and the depth of the area you're going to inject and get the patient comfortable because the lidocaine will set in and then you can layer the product and the deeper and the deeper and the deeper layer and the patient doesn't feel it. So that you tremendously increase the comfortability of the patient. So one of the things I'm doing again, you know, you should look at the patient sitting up because if there's a recline, the tissues, you know, are different positions. Secondly, also one of the things I will do, you'll see is that I like them to see smiling and non-smiling. Like again, if you smile, the zygomaticus come into play. So you don't want to inject too much in the inner cheek so if you, this is one of the things I like to do is just to see this is the upper vector I want to restore. Okay, and if I let go, I see where the flat spots are. And, and um, so what could be my entry point? Uh, I could enter through here and uh, use 25 by 40 gauge cannula. That should cover it and maybe not. So let's start here somewhere. So my goal will be one entry point and to get in with the cannula here and use it to cover the whole area. And that's the beauty of the cannula, that you can do one entry point. So if you talk about this is the width, the length of where I want to inject and the depth.
Okay, so you can see, if the camera can see it, you see what we have done. We got some lift here. The nasal labial fold was marked here. You don't even need to inject because it got lifted. So you see this contour right here we created. And that hurts maybe a little bit, maybe not. face I want to enhance the roll vector a little bit so I'm going in front because this is just about beginning the jowling effect smile because the AO is strong so, so I'm going to come in front of it to fill the pre jowl sulcus right here with a little bit of global action global action and we might put just a couple of drops right there also, and that'll be restoration of the local, lower vector. Okay, so in that, please. And if you see, look at how beautiful the upper vector and the lower vector is. Just absolutely no loss of audience. When I, when I do that thing here, look at that. She's completely full. And so inner, middle, lateral aspect of her eye. Beautiful upper vector, beautiful lower vector. Nice contour here. This is a wrong area to fill. Some people, uh, patients will come and say, can you fill this area? No, you don't. Don't want to fill that. This is the beautiful contoured face, you know. I mean, she's blessed with those. So now, what do you see? Because these vectors are so strong, there's some hollowing right here. So she could use in this area right there. I don't know if you see the angle right here. Right here. You could use, but look at this, how beautiful that is. And this will complement, because because this is so strong, this hollowness.
And this is again your same cannula, right? Yep. So you basically, basically use this is my work for the this is my work for the face. Yep.